dissolves. What's up guys, Menthol here. So in today's video, I thought I would give you guys an update on the whole Susie situation. Basically, if you guys aren't aware, my coworker Susie stopped showing up a couple weeks ago and we are in desperate need of finding a new employee. I've been doing double the work. My boss has been doing like triple the work, it seems. She's been putting in like 50 to 60 hours a week and I feel so bad for her. Uh, she's done a couple interviews and amazingly compared to the last set of interviews prior to Susie quitting, they were horrible. This time we have so many good candidates and we ended up finally hiring someone today. When, when Susie quit, it was kind of like a blessing in disguise. I did not like working with her. I did probably 75% of the work, she did 25% of the work. She had a chip on her shoulder, she had an attitude, and it sucked because every time, like if a resident didn't like her, she chalked it up to just racism. They were racist, they don't like black people, and that's why they don't like me. No, bitch, they just don't like you because you have a fucking attitude and you don't treat people with respect, you fucking cunt. The thing about working at the nursing home that I've realized is that some people just aren't gonna like you. It doesn't matter what you do, if you, you know, spoil them, if you treat them like royalty, they're just not gonna like you. And that's true about everything in life. It didn't hit me until I started doing YouTube that people are just gonna hate you. It, it, for no reason. I mean, it might be something petty, but for really, they could hate you for no reason and just keep hating you. And before YouTube, I was kind of like the guy who I needed approval from everybody. I, I needed approval from everybody. I wanted everybody to like me. But after doing YouTube, I kind of just stopped giving a shit. There's people out there that are just going to hate you, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, I try not to do that myself, but I do the same exact thing. Sometimes I just don't like people for pretty much no reason. And, you know, it is what it is. So we ended up hiring this girl today. She came in and she helped out with Bingo. It's this like cute little 20 year old girl and she did outstanding. It was like she had a huge smile on her face, was excited to be there, really respectful, laughing, wasn't shy. Yeah, she helped out with Bingo. She was calling Bingo amazingly. And if you don't know Bingo at a fucking nursing home, it's pretty much a blood sport. They will rip your fucking face off and just leave you crying. If you accidentally say the wrong number, if you're going too fast, if you're going too slow, they will fucking emotionally break you down and make you want to fucking kill yourself. But yeah, her name's Olivia. She did absolutely amazing. I ended up talking with my boss towards the end of the day and I was just like, you have to hire her. She did so good. So I watched my boss. She ended up calling her and uh, giving her the job, which I was so happy about. And so she starts on... Halloween, I think, Halloween day she starts, and I could not be any more excited. Because one thing that I realized after working with Susie is that we need to pick smart people. Susie, Su Susie, could barely read. She would show up late all the time. She just wasn't smart. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Like, the, the fucking bitch was literally dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. And the one thing that surprised me and that I'm so happy about is that after Olivia left, and me and uh, Lisa were talking, and she ended up calling Olivia, I ended up going to the library across the street because I needed to return a movie for one of the residents, and Olivia was there reading. She's a fucking scholar, an intellect, and I'm so fucking pumped about that. There's nothing worse than working with dumb people who just don't get it. I, there's people who just take a, a little bit longer time to learn, but then there's just dumb people who, no matter how many times you teach them, either due to them being stubborn or just lack of brain cells or just low IQ. They just don't get it and just aren't meant for the job. But by the time we figured that out about Susie, it was too late. She had already gone a month working there and we couldn't actually fire her. Unless she ended up like hitting a fucking resident. That's the only time where I wish someone would hit a resident is that when Susie was working just to get her fired. I, f mm, God damn it, I fucking can't stand her. So I thought I would give you guys an update on what's going on with that situation. You guys probably don't even care, but I thought I would update you guys. 
considering I'm a narcissistic little bitch and think that you guys should know everything about my life. Wake me up, wake me up inside. Wake. Also, in a week, I'm leaving to go to Boston to hang out with Mike and Dana. I'm gonna be staying at their house. I'm gonna be going with them to their shop. I'm gonna interview them. I'm gonna give you guys like a day in the life of Mike and Dana and what they do, uh, their shipping process, them writing notes. I even might write notes to you guys. If any of you guys order from Life Force Kratom from like the second to the, the sixth, I will probably be there and I will be writing notes if you guys are interested. So really, really excited about that. I am gonna vlog the whole time. I'm absolutely terrified because I am, I hate planes. I hate planes so much. So that, that'll be really funny. I know in one of my vlogs going to Florida, it, you probably couldn't tell, but I was shitting my fucking pants on the plane. I, it was not good. Just from, we had to go to uh, Minnesota to Chicago, terrified, panic attack the whole time. Then my mom gave me some uh, medicine, I guess you'd call it. And I was fine. Life was good, life was amazing. So my mom's gonna give me more of that uh, medicine and I think I should be okay. I'm flying alone. I just hope that when I take this medicine, I know where I'm going, I can figure shit out and not be completely Stupid. I, I hope I don't pull a Susie and just fuck everything up. Also, this is just pretty much a whole fucking update video, I'm sorry, but uh, I tried the gold, or no, not gold, excuse me, the yellow Mangda from Legit Kratom. I usually don't like yellow strains, but Legit Kratom came through again and it was absolutely amazing. Shout out to Legit Kratom. Go check them out. Uh, so far I've tried the, oh god, I can't even remember, but lately I've tried the Green Malay Outstanding. And now the yellow Mangda, absolutely amazing. So go check them out, I highly suggest it. I'm not making a whole review about it, but I thought I would give you guys a little heads up that they have amazing product. Uh, I'm in no way affiliated with them, I'm just very impressed with the quality and the shipping and the customer service and the prices. And um, they're, they're on par almost with Life Force Kratom. And obviously I'm biased towards Life Force Kratom because I have friends with Mike and Dana. But Legit Kratom is like right there, and yeah, super impressed. So that's the video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what the fuck is going on in my life, and I hope you guys are excited for me to go out to Boston and do the whole thing with Mike and Dana and the whole Life Force Kratom crew, because I'm so excited to finally meet them, and uh, you know, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on... Friday, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. Okay. Get away, get away now Too many games and they all tryna play out Too many people and they all start to change now Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way Got a long way to go like it's Monday Someday, gotta be in LA No, I gotta make it work out like chess day Yeah, we just young and we live and we doing it right over here Why you missing just me and my homies? We run in the city, not worry about blowing these hundreds and fifties Cause when you get caught up in money, it's fake The happiest thoughts end up going to waste I got all my people, they holding me down They all coming with me when I got the crown Trying to master rap, I never gave it up when they called me whack I gotta run the game like I'ma run it back I gotta change it up so you ain't stuck with that Now give me the mic and I'm gone I'm hoping it ain't for too long But I'm trying to make it all around the world Meet the fans that put me on, you know we got it Yeah we got it, we gon' fill it up like it's a wallet We gon' live it up like it's college We gon' soak it up like it's knowledge, yeah And I gotta pay homage to my fam and the fans from the hometown Got the hill going up when we back now Put the 919 on the map now when I'm gone